Okay guys, uh, Dave from Erie Rackets here, uh, doing a quick announcement video. Um, I was just kind of do some watering and some checking and you know, you guys will be able to see some of these enclosures, but I got a couple big announcements to, to uh, put out there. Um, the first announcement is I'm going to get out of the hobby. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, really, I'm just kidding. Uh, the first announcement is the, the video series that I put the video out about questioning, you know, whether it would be a good idea. Um, everybody seems to think it's going to be a good idea. Um, it's not going to start till next week, though. Uh, I want to make sure that I start the first video the right way, and I need to do some playing around with a few things. So um, I wanted that one to be about, you know, choosing the right tarantula. And the reason was is because Tinley is coming up uh, the 17th of March. I mean, I know that there's expos all around the whole entire country. You know, almost every weekend there's a there's an expo somewhere, but Tinley's such a big one, and uh, I wanted to do the video so that people have some ideas of what what to look for. You know, if it's your first time or you're you're trying to get something new um, or up, you know, upgrade. Uh, maybe finding you know a male for a female, or you know maybe getting your first old world species, uh, or even maybe your first you know arboreal species. Um, I wanted to make sure that I do that right so that. I don't sound like I'm coming off as, you know, knowing everything because I'm far from that, but still giving you guys the advice that I think will help you choose the right tarantula for you. Um, and I'll base that strictly on me, on, on the stuff that I've had and what I've kept and what I've learned over the course of the last, you know, three and a half, four years of, of really getting into this part of it, um, you know, with the multiple stuff, um, what I've learned uh, I wish I could go back and tell myself four years ago, you know, that quantity isn't always as good as quality. That's definitely one of the things I want to, want to stress. And, you know, that video will have to be probably done in a couple different clips because that one will probably be the longest one out of all of them. So that will start next Wednesday. And, uh, the other announcement is the giveaway for Tinley that has changed. Uh, there's still going to be a giveaway the parameters are still the same, so you have to go to the video, um, the Tinley giveaway, which would have been in a 500 subscriber video, I believe. Um, comment there. I'm going to Tinley. Go to Erie Arachnids page on Facebook. Like that page, and then comment there, did all three, and uh, you'll be entered into a chance to win. There's only two people that have done everything so far. Uh, the Myers, uh, husband and wife. I, I don't remember first names, I'm sorry. Uh, for not remembering your names, but I, I did write them down in the book. Uh, what's changed is where you're going to get your spider from, instead of it being from Fear Not Tarantulas, because uh, Tanya's just so busy, I, I don't really want to bother her with this. Uh, and I was using points that I accumulated, you know, in, in a purchase to get this spider. Um, so I decided I just want to hang on to those points. And what I'm going to do is go through mostly reptiles, which is Ruth Cowper. Uh, she's agreed to do the giveaway for me, um, so I'll be purchasing the spider through her, and you're going to have a choice instead of just me telling you which one you have to have. You'll have a choice of two spiders. They're both spiderlings around the quarter inch to three-eighth inch mark. Uh, one is the Lassiodora paribana, and the other will be a Nandu Colorado Velosa. So you'll have your choice of which one. Uh, the Wednesday before Tinley, I will get a hold of the winner, and... I'll let you know, uh, and I'll definitely need to make sure that we have your names right. Uh, and all you'll have to do when you go there is just show Ruth your ID so that she knows that she's giving the right spider to the person that actually won. Um, instead of just anybody going up and saying, hey, I'm, I'm Joe Bob Billy Thornton and get a free spider. And then Joe Bob Billy Thornton shows up five minutes later and wants a spider. So... Um, those are the kind those are the announcements really that, you know they're they're nothing major but uh, I did want to get those out there uh, especially for the Tinley thing because again I've only had two people that actually did everything that uh, want you know the spider uh, I know there's people that would love to have it but they're either not from the United States or not attending Tinley and we'll be doing a giveaway later on in the year uh, we'll do a thousand subscriber giveaway whenever that happens and that'll be a sling package giveaway so anything that uh, 
my mature males produced or any of my females produced when we hit that 1000 scrabber mark you'll get one of each sling that has produced and i have three males out and i have two females that were bred and hopefully in the next couple months we'll have um, at least one more pairing maybe two more pairings to do so you know the possibility of having five or six slings uh, at the thousand subscriber mark to one person because uh, i'm not paying shipping for five people but uh yeah or we could do it a different way and do five different winners as long as you guys paid shipping because uh, shipping is the murder you know shipping is a murder <laughs> But uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get there when, when we hit that 850 mark. We'll start worrying about, you know, that giveaway. Um, so, yeah, uh, the Balfouris have been out a lot. There's always one here. The other one was on top next to it uh, up there uh, until we moved. Cheeto has been very active, very, very, very active. She's not even a little den. She's up on top. Um, she keeps flipping her water dish. I don't know why. I flipped it back today because I fed her and then filled it with water and she flipped it again. Uh, Davis Penalores male right there. Oh, that boy needs to molt. Bad. He is so long in the abdomen. This, this, this is going to be the next spider that molts. This, mark my words. This is the Brachypelma Schwarderi. Um, I would say in the next four days that this spider will molt. The, the Bomi's down there somewhere. And again, um, the Bomi is going to be named either Mora, if it's a female, or Morton, if it's a male, to go along with Dave Scott's Marilyn. Um, instead of just naming it Moore, I thought we would at least give it a a name that has part of Moore in it. So hopefully Marilyn, watch, she just put out a big four-part video. I got to watch each video is like 20-some minutes, but I'm so, I still want to watch them. Matter of fact, once I get done with this, that's what's going to happen is I'm going to pop in the, some Marilyn, Mo Marilyn Moore. I always want to call her Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Moore videos and uh, watch them for the rest of the evening. But yeah, it's, it's really warm here today. It's, it's 70 degrees. It's probably still like 60, 62 degrees right now in February in Erie, Pennsylvania. That's like crazy. So it's it's hot here. You know, very, very, very warm in the room. And uh, the spiders are out everywhere. I mean, look, you, you could see G. Paul Cripes, G. Pulcra, E. Campstratus, B. Homori, B. Emilia, B. Elbow Pelosum, Belfores, Cheetos out, Scorpions inside there, that's the Emperor Scorpion, and Ense. The Schroderi's right there. I don't know where the Bomi is. Right there's the Elbiceps. That's just that. And then, of course, the Penalorus. Then you have everybody up here that's out. The Cancerides. The Teranachila species of Rusha. The B. Elbiceps little sling right there. There's a Baumgarteni that needs to molt. Um, species Can Krishan right there. The Emil... Er, yeah. Both... The Ornata and the Amelia, not Amelia, Erminia, P. Erminia, are looking pre-molt, as is the uh, Teranochilus lugardi. Uh, there's a little H. Gigas. That's the tiny one. That's Ernie. Bert is down there. Um, there's the Pamphibedius C.F. Petersi female. Back there, you guys can see. There's Tawny, the E species red. But everybody, here's the, there's Ash, the female Canthoscuria gina colada. There's absolutely no doubt that I see her eventually. She's absolutely 100% a female. Uh, the Plesiopelma species Bolivia, the E. Campistratus, uh, L. polycuspilatus is just climbing like crazy. I don't know why. Of course, the rose hairs back in the back. There's the Garosa right there. Everybody's out because it's so hot. Colorado Velosus, that's the male. There's the Gramostol species Maul, you can see back there. I don't remember which, who's that? Oh, that's the Gramostola species North, I think. Species North, oh no, that's, 
I mean, my tags are on the other side. That's the Sabulosum. That's the species north. That must be... Oh, no, I don't know who that is. Who the hell is that? Now it's going to drive me crazy. It's not the male hensai. Male hensai is... Not sure. Female Penelorus is back there. Yeah, who the hell is that? Now I gotta get her down because I have to figure out who it is. It's gonna drive me crazy. As soon as I see the enclosure, I'll be able to tell you. That's the Gabelli. That's who I thought it was. Hazel. Hazel is the Gramostol species north. That's Monterey. No. Phoenix. Sorry. God, I can't remember the names of my spiders anymore. That's named Phoenix because originally that was supposed to be a Fauna Palma Calcotes till it molted. When it molted, I was like, yeah, this is not a Calcotes. Norman. Yeah, I've never attempted to hold him. Well, you did see the, the handling of snow. Um, again, that was kind of unintentional, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd have an issue holding this dude. He has calmed down since he last molted. He's actually calmer than my grandma's told Polkrex. She is a little bit wiry. So, yeah, okay, well, that's it. I'm not going to talk anymore. Uh, you guys, again, whoever wants to be in that Tinley giveaway, please, please do those things. Um... It'd be a little bit more fun if it's more than just two people, especially since they live in the same household. Um, you guys may have to move it out. One of you have to live someplace else for a week or two so that there's at least two households involved. Okay, let's uh, real quick. I'll show you. My lovely female. Polker, some will pay Polker at Salem. I really didn't expect her to go back there, to be honest with you. I didn't. I expect her to go in here and live, but it is what it is, right? So I got her, and we'll put Samira back. There's Samira. Piece of Theris of Fusca. She's been eating better lately. Actually, every time I fed her in here, she's eaten. So, okay. We will see everybody soon. And again, look forward to the beginners uh, series. I'll give it a I'll give it a good name, some kind of twist. I don't I don't know what yet, but we'll come up with something interesting to uh, give it a little bit of a lure. Guys can help me put put my spiders back. Okay, and we're gonna be working on the piece of Lotharium Miranda enclosure. It'll be just like these ones. It will go right here, most likely. But then I gotta figure out what to do with these guys, which actually I can stack them on top if I need to. Just for now. Um, springtime. My goal is springtime to be below a hundred. So they'll probably be roughly 25-ish that will be up for sale. I just have to figure out who. Definitely a species can, Krishan, Discalus, Brachypelma, Elbow, Plosum, Nicaragua. Those three for sure. Probably, oh, there's a Davis Penelorus sling that can be, uh, that I could be, that can be sold. Um... Depending on what happens with the Baumgartenis, probably one of those also can be sold. Maybe one of the Brachypelma wagons too. We'll see. Okay. Uh, we shall tell you. Yeah, the funny thing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade spiders. I end up with more than what I traded with Ruth. I know it. I'm going to go up there with two. I'm going to end up coming back with like ten. All right. That's about it. Have a great day. Have a great week. See you guys later.